G'day, Tim and Dave from Springvale here. We just want to talk about the 2011 Chardonnay. Uh, from the vineyard perspective, it was a, a variety of clones, a lot of it being a sparkling-based clone. Um, we picked quite early with this wine. We wanted to really try and work that um, citrus flavour spectrum into the wine, um, but also some complexity. So there were a number of uh, different picking dates and batches that went into it. Yeah, I think there's about eight wines. Eight wines, yeah. So, um, yeah, tried to, to work in this nice mineral backbone with a, a citrus flavour spectrum, mm -hmm. much like Chablis, and, uh, which is sort of something we're, we're aiming at and trying to pull a few Sav Blanc drinkers back across to Chardonnay with that really appreciation of the acid there as well. Mm -hmm. And so um, from the making point of view, we did a 50% barrel ferment, old oak, Bariques. Yep, old oak. Um, I, I think it was a bit more than 50, I can't quite remember, but yep. uh, yeah, the, the idea being that, I mean, this is a wine that um, it does, it's not, doesn't have that tropical melon uh, Chardonnay flavour, it's more grapefruity lemons, um, and really we, we pick this wine, we, we pick what we think is ridiculously early, yep. uh, and then we just pick a little bit, start fermenting it. When it starts, if it smells like grapefruits, which it, it did, yep. <clears throat> then we keep going, because that's where we want to be. Um, and the juice has a, a, a range of different treatments, but the, the focus of it is to build that texture into it. It's got this almost sort of waxy, um, uh, grippy, I can't really describe it. It's just, yeah, there's it's a like presence there, like there there's, is, a, yeah. there's a complex palette there. And after a year in bottle now too, the, probably the real strong primary citrus grapefruit punch has dulled a little bit and you can really appreciate the nice rounded creamy texture of the wine. Yeah, I'm yeah. loving it, it's really <clears throat> beautiful. It's nice and wine. soft and especially um, with a little bit of time in the glass it just unfolds and those different components come out of it. It's really um, drinking really well. Um, picking it so early too, dealing with the acid we had to put 50% through Malo, and that's, yeah. that's not the Malo bugs that add that buttery character, it's, uh, it's there really only to soften the acid. Yeah, there's, there's specific bacteria that don't produce that buttery character, so it's, it's purely just to soften the acid. We had to pick it when the acid was still relatively high so that it didn't, For so the flavour flavor, didn't yeah. progress, um, knowing that we could put some of it through Malo to, to yeah. balance it out. Yeah. Um, and then it only, it spent a few months um, on lees, on, on the yeast in the barrels, and also uh, even the tank portion was put to barrel. So it's sort of all come together to make this dry, savoury, steely, minerally sort of shard that uh, there's really not a lot of it made like this um, that I've seen around in no, Australia. No, a lot of them are, a lot of unwooded Chardonnays tend to be more towards the tropical end of the spectrum. This yeah, is, sort of like a Sav Blanc replacement. Yeah, um, yeah. And, or the other style is, you know, the oaky style, which mm. we love, but we only make in small volumes. This Chardonnay, the, like the 2011 style, that's made to be, um, yeah, just like a, it's a perfect bistro wine, so you might see it on restaurant wine lists by the glass or in pubs or whatever, because it's kind of like a, a dry white that, you know, you can just drink it or it's, it's a, it's a sort of like a go-to dry but, white. Yeah, so. fairly friendly for um, pairing any foods yep. to as well, it's, there's not going to be a great deal of difficulty trying to find a food match to this wine. Yeah, that's right, um, and the other thing I like about this style of Chard is that it's turning the tide on people who say they don't drink Chardonnay. So I like that too. Cellar door, there's a, if there's a challenge put to us, it's uh, I don't like Chardonnay and we're, we're happy to take that one up. This one, yep. this Chard often turns people. Yeah, so um, it's, I mean, there's no oaky flavour and that's generally what people are scared of with Chardonnay. So this is showing that Chardonnay is a very diverse variety and you need to broaden your horizons and try some. Um, we covered most of the technical data, but if you want some more information, um, there's a spot on the website. Um, send us an email or we'll see you soon. Okay. Cheers. Cheers.